our tubular steel runaway mine trains were a runaway success. We turned the amusement industry upside down with the first steel coaster to travel upside down. We suspended your disbelief by creating a coaster that suspended its riders from an overhead track. Our twisted thinking brought you the corkscrew, the boomerang, the bow tie, the butterfly, and the interlocking loop, all of which threw our competition for a loop. We designed and produced many of the original rides at Disneyland. 200 million people ride our rides every year. 80 of our steel coasters stand round the world. We're Aerodynamics. And while other manufacturers are content to coast along, Arrow continues to speed down the fast track that's advanced our coaster technology light years beyond anyone else. In fact, we've helped America's most exciting parks have record-breaking attendance for the past 20 years. At Busch Gardens Old Country, Arrow turned a terrifying ancient myth into an even more terrifying modern-day menace, the Loch Ness Monster. Since the day it opened, Loch Ness Monster sightings occurred with regularity because this roller creature towers 13 stories above the Rhine River. It features a 114-foot first drop that speeds the terrified rider at 60 miles an hour, followed by a 57-foot second drop, which immediately leads into a 52-foot head-over-heels loop. Nessie then lives up to its reputation for shyness and quickly goes into hiding by slithering into the dark, spiraling confines of the monster's lair, twisting the rider two and three quarters times. When riders finally see the light, it's in the frightening form of a 60-foot third drop and a second loop that interlocks with the first. The Loch Ness Monster is actually tying itself into a knot, much like the rider's stomach. Fact or fiction? The argument continues, but at the old country, don't tell the 2,000 riders per hour that the Loch Ness Monster doesn't exist. Coaster fanatics can't resist a challenge. At Six Flags Great Adventure, riders faced one of their most blood-curdling challenges ever on Arrow's Great American Scream Machine, the highest, fastest, looping steel coaster in the world. In two minutes and 20 seconds, riders change elevation 16 times and turn completely upside down seven times while reaching speeds in excess of 65 miles an hour. At the coaster's first peak of 173 feet, well past the point of no return, riders are plunged down a 155 foot, 55 degree banked curve and all the screaming in the world won't stop them from shooting through a series of vertical loops. The first, 136 feet high, the world's tallest, followed by two more loops measuring 107 feet and 97 feet. The decibel level of the screams increases as riders move through two boomerang turns and two corkscrew loops. Three 28 passenger trains bring the hourly capacity up to 1,900. Two computer control systems make this the most technologically advanced coaster ever developed. The Great American Scream Machine. It's the kind of coaster that makes riders scream for more. Who's afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? Everyone who rides it at Busch Gardens Old Country. The Wolf is a suspended coaster that claws its way through the forest like a hungry timber wolf on the prowl. With haunting howls baying in the background, riders board the trains at an eerie medieval station, and the terrifying wolf rampage begins. Quickly looking left to right, the wolf swings the riders at angles up to 110 degrees. It stalks a path through the rooftops of an old Bavarian village, over an abandoned woodcutter's cabin, and past a crumbling castle. Riders race up and down hills and finally cascade to a final splashdown into the river below. The three-minute ride follows the natural terrain of the park and contains drops of 70 and 50 feet. Since 1984, the Big Bad Wolf has carried more than five million riders. And when they tell you it's the scariest ride ever, they're not crying wolf. At Cedar Point, riders have been seeing double since 1978 on Gemini, the tallest, steepest, fastest racing coaster in the world. On Gemini, the steepest hills in the Midwest are heightened by a high-speed race. 
at the rate of 4,000 riders per hour. Parallel trains go one-on-one -on -one as they race through six acres of winding, whirling track. When they leave the station, it's red train versus blue. Riders on each side psych each other out during the slow climb up a 125-foot hill. Then the race begins with the initial 118-foot plunge that propels them up to 60 miles an hour. It's a two-minute, 20-second game of catch-up as the lead passes back and forth. Red in the lead at the top of the next hill. Blue catches up at the bend. And in the home stretch, Gemini throws both trains off final curve as the tracks split into dual 360-degree loops. It's double the thrills and double the capacity with 40,000 rides per day. The winner and still the champion, Gemini of the Racing Coasters. Riders at Six Flags Great America were faced with the shocking sight of something they have never seen before, the shockwave. When built in 1988, it was the world's tallest and fastest super steel coaster, boasting the only 155-foot banking drop, a total of seven loops, and a record-breaking top speed of 65 miles an hour. After being stunned by its awesome first drop, riders shoot through a massive 130-foot vertical loop, followed by not one, but two 116-foot vertical loops. Fortunately, the shockwave has frozen the rider's hands tight around the rail because it isn't ready to release its grip. Yet, passengers have to endure two boomerang turns followed by two corkscrew loops. Pounding hearts, tousled hair, and a sigh of relief will greet the finish line after riders endure 3,900 feet of a shaking, jolting assault on the senses. With 428 passenger trains, the shockwave delivers an electrifying 2,000 passengers per hour. And it was no shock when the shockwave gave Great America great attendance. In fact, in 1988, Great America had its best attendance ever. Arrow has mastered the martial arts of coaster design with the Ninja at Six Flags Magic Mountain. The Ninja is the only suspended roller coaster on the West Coast and one of the most thrilling suspended coasters in the world. Like the cunning of a ninja warrior, the ride is swift, silent, and packs a wallop. The black trains, suspended from a red overhead track, swing the passengers side to side faster than the snap of a karate kick. While traveling at speeds of up to 55 miles an hour, the Ninja whips the trains back and forth through 1,700 feet. Three and a half minutes of spirals and sharp turns, applying almost four Gs to a record number of riders. The Ninja is a study of oriental discipline with a computer-controlled fail-safe brake system on the track to assure proper ride speed at all times. High above Samurai Summit at Magic Mountain lurks the Ninja the black belt of coasters. Kings Island knocked its patrons for a loop with the addition of the Vortex, Arrow's multi-looping thrill coaster. This one-of-a-kind coaster coils up and springs from the station, careening through a two-and-a-half-minute tubular steel whirlpool, 3,800 frightening feet of torturously twisted track. After a 148-foot climb, the vortex drops 138 feet at 55 degrees, reaching 50 miles an hour. Then riders are rammed through a 72-foot vertical loop, followed instantly by a 62-foot vertical loop. Then, like a spinning top out of control, the vortex continues through a 30-foot corkscrew, a 60-foot range boomerang, and finally is sucked into a black hole, a 360-degree horizontal helix turn at the end. Arrow set a new world's record by turning riders head over heels six times more than any other coaster anywhere. And with three seven-car trains carrying 1,500 riders per hour, Kings Island went head over heels when they realized the impact the Vortex had on attendance. They said you couldn't build a coaster that could reach 70 miles an hour. We did. They said it couldn't be 201 feet tall. It is. They said such a drop would require a chain lift to pull the train up the second hill. It doesn't. Introducing Magnum XL200 at Cedar Point, the coaster they said couldn't be built. At the peak of its 201-foot summit, 
passengers begin to feel dizzy from the light atmosphere. But then, they experience gale force winds as they plummet 196 feet at 60 degrees to reach the speed of 70 miles an hour. The terrified riders immediately careen up and over the second drop of 156 feet and through the first of two tunnels, followed by an 80-foot third hill. And the high-speed assault continues through a second tunnel and a pretzel-like configuration of banked 80-foot-high curves that sends them mercifully back to the boarding station. Magnum XL200, the highest, steepest, and fastest roller coaster in the world. Over 30 feet higher than any other coaster in North America, with a 2,000 rider per hour capacity. It'll take a lot of guts to ride it. It took even more guts to build it. And Arrow did at Cedar Point. What you've just seen are eight of Arrow's most successful coasters, built for some of America's most successful amusement parks. At Arrow, we stand behind our coasters, giving you unmatched, personalized service and attention. We stock the most complete spare parts inventory in the industry. If need be, we can have a new part to you overnight. And while your guests are thrilled by the surprises we design into our coasters, maintenance people are just as thrilled by the lack of surprises. Low maintenance and minimal downtime are Arrow's trademarks. We can customize any coaster to suit any theme or topographical requirement. Best of all, at Arrow, we build coasters that build attendance. Arrow Dynamics. There's too much riding on your new coaster to buy from anyone else.